And now's as good a time as any to test uh, next month's giveaway, or if you're watching it in January, this month's giveaway. Uh, January 14, January 2014, Magni Headphone Amplifier giveaway. Because last month's M50 giveaway really shed some light on, I really need to figure out if something I'm giving away is good. And this is good, so this will be given away. Uh, my last uh, review of the M50s was an unfavorable one, and the likes and dislikes are hilarious. So, what is this? This is a headphone amplifier. Do you need one? Maybe. And that's really the answer, is maybe. Some headphones are easy to drive. Uh, the ones I have here, the NVXs, are pretty easy to drive. I can get above average playback volume, even with my uh, little cow on here. I have not tried them on something smaller or worse. And... You know, this is not a Fio. Here's a little Fio E06. And this is fine. It's a portable thing. But if you're at your desk, if you're sitting at your desk at home, and you're not going to be worried about a portable thing, you don't want a little Fio. You either want a big Fio or you want something like this. And this is what I'm reviewing, what I'm giving away. A, because it's made in America, which is super, super rare nowadays. And if I could find a piece of electronics made in America and support them and say good things because they deserve it, I will do so. Of course, the power adapter is made in China, because I don't think you could even buy one made in America. If you could find a power adapter like this in 16 volt, 8 watt, 500 milliamp, tell me about it, and I will include a link to that, because then you can have a full American setup going on here. Uh, I don't know the actual specs, or the actual amount of power it puts out. I'm linking to the shit website. And yes, it is called a shit, and that's because you get a shit stack, because you can put multiple units, and I don't have the uh, Mahdi DAC, I'm using the Behringer DAC, one thing at a time, folks, um, but the Behringer DAC is still very good, especially in the line outs, you don't want to use the headphone out, so there's a headphone amplifier built into this little thing over here, and it's powered by USB, and there's this entire unit, powered by this 16 volt transformer, so a lot more power, a lot more space to do things, actually will generate some heat, because it's got the vents, and there's a little light on inside there, that tells you something and it's super simple as far as the back's concerned you get rca ins you get made in usa you get a power switch and you get the uh transformer plug and it takes a quarter inch so if you don't have a quarter inch uh, adapter this is a screw on on the nvx's so if you don't have one of these in your headphones i mean you don't need this for earbuds you, this is this is to drive serious headphones this is for you know signal signal's easy the Behringer does signal fine. Some sound cars do signal fine without power. When you want power, it's to drive the little speakers that are in headphones. So plug that in, and it goes in very... Oh, I love the solidity of that. And the volume on it, which, again, you're not going to be able to hear it because I haven't finished that thing. This Frankenstein god-awful wonderful thing, which... I need some special glues to put the ears on. It's it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. But it's, it's getting there. So let's put this on. It takes a second to click over. And now it's over. And um, you get a nice white LED because blue is so played out. And if you buy anything with blue, um, you're bad. You probably support terrorists. If you like blue LEDs, you support terrorists. You're supporting terrorism. And this is a very quiet song. Leading up to a very loud part. It's a BT song from the Binary Universe. And I have this at half volume. And I could tell right away, looking at that and looking at this, that this is going to be unbearably loud as soon as it gets to that part. So I'm going to lower this. Yeah, This can push many a headphone. There are headphones out there that require like monster power. More than this can provide. And uh, I can't list those right now because I haven't had the uh, touch of Jesus come down and show me what they are. Like, I'm not sure if the Hi-Fi mans will you will work on this. They are planar, but they're not crazy planars that require, like, a, a, a amp that size. So, actually, you can power a planar magnetic headphone, I think, with a regular speaker amp. You just put some resistors in line. But this, for, I'd say, 90... 5% of all headphones on planet Earth, this will drive just fine. 
and cleanly with separation like I'm hearing ah uh, yeah okay two-thirds power is even if not at full volume is crazy Give me something that's interesting to listen to so at least you could think I'm having fun here Dirty Harry by the Gorillas. The remix from the D Sides album. I'll put this off to halfway. This is halfway on the amp. Obviously, full out in the computer. Look how cool that is. Get a pair of these. I gotta keep putting these in every video I do until they're all sold out and I have the only pair. Remaining, and I'm going to sell it for a million dollars. Wait. All right, that's three quarters. That's full power. If you put that on your head at that volume, it'll be very, very... Well, you need new headphones, that's for sure. The headphone amp will not help you at that point. Yeah. It's well built. It's a little sharp. I'm going to get do the negatives. I mean, it's made in America, so you got to expect some rough edges. We're not used to uh, manufacturing yet. We'll get back in the groove. It comes with rubber feet. The box is over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't look at that. Don't look. Don't look. Nothing just happened. Nothing at all just happened over there. And I'm... It's fine. Yes. Here we have the little rubber feet. Here are the little rubber feet, which I can't put on because then I can't put it back in the box and send it out when the competition... <laughs> ends in January. That's it. Just it's all into the box. You get it comes in a bag, it has little feet, it comes with an owner's manual, which actually is shared for the Magni and the Mahdi. The Mahdi obviously is the DAC equivalent, which is the exact same size form factor. And it's just RCA outs and USB in. I don't think that uses power. Let me see. No, here here it is. So yeah, oh they give me specs maybe? That'd be cool if they give me specs. Yes, I paid ninety nine dara. Daru. Yeah, they're not they're not they're not big on telling you things. That's fine. Came in a, d a correctly sized box. They didn't ship it in something ridiculous. Five watts, by the way, the kilowatt claims. So, if you win this, if you win this in January's. A giveaway on RZOS, which is a Reddit giveaway, which requires a sign-in time. So if you're looking at this on YouTube and you have no idea what Reddit is, you probably should have a lock. But if you are a Redditor and you're watching this, you will you will have a chance to win this next month. And you can hook it up to you can even hook it up to your sound card. Although that's a sort of a waste because then you're amping an amp. So unless you just can't push the sound card hard enough to power your headphones. You're probably going to look at a, at a, a DAC. Even the Behringer DAC is $30. Maybe I'll give away like three of those next month. I don't know. I don't know. These giveaways are weird. Let me have my PP hurt. And, uh... Yeah. No heat. I think you have to run it for probably three hours in a very, very warm room to get any heat out of it. So, if you win one of these, you may want to consider getting a Behringer DAC... Or the matching Mahdi deck, so you basically it's gonna be half price for you because the other one's a hundred dollars. This is a hundred dollars. It actually went up to one hundred and ten on Amazon today. Uh, so I don't know, maybe they're gonna become rare. But I'm sure they sold out a ton of them at Christmas time. Yeah, I'd, I'd open it up, but I don't feel like it. There's pictures of it of the inside of it on uh, Shit's website. You give them a check, 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 check it, and uh, yeah good headphone amp. I'm going to hook it up to a couple other things. I'm going to hook it up to uh, well actually what am I going to hook it up to? I guess I can hook it up to my portable player. Although that powers these headphones. So I need, I need much harder to drive headphones. So if someone's willing to send me a pair of really hard to drive headphones, I will be holding on to this for a couple more weeks till the end of January and then when I give it away I obviously won't have access to it anymore. Maybe I'll buy another one for myself. I really don't need it. But it is really, really nice. I've always wanted to buy a shit product. Don't you love their name? It, it, the marketing just writes itself. So there you go. 
should 